What's up, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with a quick view on Tapjoy, how to get free gems in this game, or at least it says free. Let's take a quick look at them uh, and how they're going to impact you as a free-to-play player, as a casual spender, just as a player of the game, what you can and can't do, what you should and shouldn't do when it comes to free gem offers. Now, taking a quick look here. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is not click all. All gets a little confusing, so we're going to go straight into the two different categories, discovery and action. Discovery is very simple. Discovery populates a series of very low uh, free gems you can get, and these are truly free. In order to claim these gems, all you have to do is click on the link. It will go through a whole bunch of steps and allow you to install an application. Once you install the application, it'll take a moment or so, open it. Once you open it, well, I'll wait a sec. There you go. Once you open the application, there it is. All set, all done. Don't need to worry about it anymore. It's been opened. Head on back to Disney Arena. And go right on back. And if you close, you'll usually get a notification that says uh, rewards will be sent in the mail. And to check if you receive them, they go right here under offer reward. It's the 11 gems I just got. These discovery, they are worth very small amount of gems, but overall they take no time. So might as well give it a shot. Action is a little different. Actions, we're going to see a whole bunch of big numbers, right? Thousands, seven thousand, ten thousand gems. And you're going to look and go, wow, that's a lot of gems. Uh, you are being lied to. You are 100% being lied to. Uh, the value of these gems is nowhere near the, worth the cost. For example, with just taking a quick look, this tells you the steps. Once you move into action, it starts telling you what you have to do. Install as a new user and make a purchase. Well, if I have to make a purchase, it's no longer free. So we're not going to go into detail about which purchases are worthwhile, right? If you're going to spend money in something, you may as well spend money in the game for gems. Very infrequently is there an offer where the purchase... Um, let's think of another example. Manscaped very infrequently will this kind of purchase be worth the gems it offers. This is 4,000 gems. You're probably gonna have to spend about 50 to $70 in Manscaped. It's not gonna even out for you. Like it's not gonna be worth it. So anything that says purchase or anything that implies create a free and purchase your first, you're gonna wanna skip those uh, in general, especially if obviously if you're free, but especially if you're a casual spender, and if you're a whale, just spend the money in the game, right? Like, why go through a middleman? Like I said, very infrequently is there an efficient uh, trade-off between buying something in another app and, you know, getting good gems in the game. Now, occasionally there's a 2x drop where you get twice as many gems. At that point, you may run into a, uh, you know, sign up for Gamefly or sign up for Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. And if you haven't already, then maybe it's worth it, you know, to get a little bit extra because if you don't have a Hulu account, but you've always been wondering about it, maybe you sign up for one month, you know, to trial it. And as a result of you signing up, not only do you get the gems it says, you would get double gems. That's not what we're looking at here. Uh, that's not currently available. So don't even think about that. Uh, it's so infrequent that it happens that just ignore that. The other thing you're going to look at is uh, games. For example, I can get a thousand gems for reaching level 10 in Disney Emoji Blitz. Take a quick look. So what do I do? Install as a new user. Basically, as a new user, it just means you can't have an account, you know, with whatever the device you're currently using. If you're on iPhone, you can't have installed this game already and have it count, same thing with Android, etc. So, but if you have one and not the other, for some reason, or if you have both, you can move it around. So this is reach level 10. Uh, please allow up to 48 hours to receive the reward in the game. Rewards are only eligible for new installs. They tend to be a little bit more detailed on what you can do. 
Uh, but this is an example of the standard actions that I would recommend to players, because what you see here is the ability to play another game and accrue value in the game you want. Now, the positive of that is you may end up finding another game that you kind of like, and that's really cool. The negative is quite obviously you have to play another game to get value in the game you want to play. So it's not for everybody, but if you have uh, an abundance of free time, if you have a lot of access to your mobile phone, or if you're just that dedicated to getting free gems, a lot of these offers are relatively easy. Uh, and it's the same rules. You click earn and then download, as you saw before. Gain 30 magic power and merge magic. This is the same, you know, same kind of event. This one is already telling you you have to spend money. But I want to show you this for... Not this one. I want to show you a couple of others uh, before we go in. So all of these, you know, simple ones, complete your first purchase in the game. So this is a game that requires you to make a purchase in the game and you get 1,200 gems. Well, that might be great, but what if the minimum purchase is the same? You know, if the minimum purchase is 99 cents, technically, this is an offer that gives you 1,200 gems for 99 cents. If the minimum purchase is like $10, well, that's probably about $10 worth of gems anyway, you know what I mean? So why are you wasting your time going through an extra step? Uh, there's another one I wanted to show you before we go into a little bit more detailed on sign up stuff and this is ones that are like spin the lucky wheel or take a survey for usually between uh, 100 and 300 gems i will tell you now avoid these like the plague the amount of time you're going to spend on a uh, a website or a uh, an app that does nothing but waste your time show you advertisements make you accidentally click them uh, is not worth whatever amount of gems you're going to get. It is way easier to just download a game and play that game. Uh, you don't have to be good at it. Just play it uh, until you unlock. There are a couple of notes, too, I wanted to mention. And they, they, they show up sometimes, but I wanted to see something. That, another sign-up offer. Sometimes there are offers that, that come with a free trial, right? Here. Here. So this is something I wanna tell you guys that you probably won't hear from anyone else. This is signing up for Gamefly. It says, no, Tapjoy reserves the right to revoke your reward if you cancel the service immediately. Now, you're gonna look at that and you're gonna say, hmm, that means that I'm gonna to have to pay for this account, right? Uh, no, 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 Tapjoy didn't write this up. This is not Tapjoy's job, just in case you're wondering what Tapjoy is. Tapjoy is a company that works as a middleman between other companies that says, hey, if you allow us to find advertisers to put in your game, like advertisements, uh, we will have them pay you and you can give gems. You know, like it's kind of a weird mid-level marketing scheme in which everyone is marketing to everybody all the time. I don't know how it's beneficial, but it ends up with free gems in our pockets. So stick with it. Where it says no, Tapjoy reserves the right to revoke your reward. No, they don't. Once a reward is placed into your account, the only people who can remove something from your account under any circumstances is Glue. Tapjoy has no control over that. That is not written by Tapjoy. That was written by the guys at Gamefly and posted here. Tapjoy does not care. Tapjoy's job is to make sure that the what is said happened. As a matter of fact, if you go into reward status on some of your offers it'll tell you uh this is when you started this offer is ongoing uh, you can contact support you can request support for an item and say hey i didn't get the gems that i'm supposed to get and within 24 hours they'll do their best to give them to you but when you see a notification that tells you hey you you know tap is going to take those those uh things away if you cancel. No, they're not. Tapjoy is not going to take that away. You're going to see one that says Tapjoy will uh, ban your account if if you abuse this privilege. No, they won't. I mean, they won't. If you see an offer, the digital link your bank. I mean, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be linking my bank for anything under any reasons to anything on the Internet. But if you know digit and you're like, oh, I've heard about it. 
maybe it's worth it here. So what I will say is every couple of days, walk into Tapjoy, no matter who you are, just to see if there's an offer that looks like, oh, what a great uh, way to get a whole bunch of gems uh, because it's something I was going to buy anyway, like Norton VPN, sign up for a seven day free trial. Well, I've been hearing a lot about VPNs. Let me sign up for a free trial and, and check this out. Or, oh, let's see. Nope, none of these else look good. They're all terrible. But the point is the tap joy offers are never going to be good. They're just going to be a way for you to kind of be a, a guinea pig for marketing and also get a couple of free gems in your account. Now, uh, I know I've done quite a bit of these offers. I know I've, I've done some paid offers where I bought uh, some, some shaving products <laughs> because of my beard. Uh, I know I've also signed up for Disney Plus uh, once or twice, <laughs> you know, whenever the offers show up and it not really has anything else kind of stood up. Oh, one last thing. Sometimes you'll catch something with multiple rewards and they're kind of tiered. So this is like a jigsaw puzzle game. You know, if you like jigsaw puzzles and the benefit is collect 500 stars, if you're having fun, then you're just doing it for free, right? But I wouldn't necessarily like try this one. If you just take a quick look, 47 gems for 75, and then six or seven times that amount is only 200 gems. Like, uh, I feel like this one's gonna take too much of your time. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, hopefully you now have a little bit better understanding of the difference between a discovery, which is just a download, and an action, which is usually a little bit more than just a download. And most importantly, that you learn that your TapJoy account's not going to be revoked because you revoked their ability to do something. It's just not gonna happen. That's not how it works. That's the company telling you, hey, if you don't give us more money and you can ignore them. Uh, but that said, I wouldn't spend any money outside of this game if you are looking to spend money. I don't think it's necessarily worth it more often than not. Uh, but if you are looking to get a couple of extra free gems every now and then and don't mind spending time playing uh, Disney Emoji Blitz or Merge Magic or Merge Dragons, then it's probably in your best interest to give it a shot. Take it a look. Now, uh, thank you so much for watching. Comment below and let me know if you have done any of these offers yet or if you're a little bit afraid to do it. And hopefully I can give you some feedback or hopefully this video was already helpful. Other than that, I want you guys to have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scongeli, and I'll catch you later.